Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Zoho CRM lead from Elementor form responses. I want that whenever a new form will be submitted in Elementor, automatically by using that same form response, a new lead should be created in my Zoho CRM account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to integrate both these applications and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software, Pabli Connect. So what we are going to do, we have Elementor in our trigger and Zoho CRM in our action. So we will be connecting both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically create a lead in our Zoho CRM account as soon as a new form will be submitted in Elementor Forms. Now, in order to create this automation, we will have to integrate both these applications that is Elementor Forms and Zoho CRM and that we are going to do with the help of an amazing automation and integration software Pabli Connect. So, this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach directly by typing pabli.com slash connect this URL in our browser. Once we will reach on this home page, we can find two options over here sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in. But if you are a new user, you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account. And it is not going to take more than two minutes. Also, when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now, because I'm already an existing user, therefore I'm clicking on sign in. And this is the all app section of Pabli where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders over here in order to save our workflows. So as you can find, I have two folders here on this dashboard. In this test integrations folder, I have saved a lot of workflows. In the same manner, by creating multiple folders, you can save your workflows accordingly in them. Now, to create a new workflow, we are going to click on this create workflow option given on right corner with blue color. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow so first of all let us provide a name here create zoho crm lead from elementor form submission and after giving the name we can also select the folder in which we want to save our workflow so from the drop down i'm going to select this test integrations folder and now we will simply click on create as we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts on which the entire automation runs. The trigger here says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. Whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflows and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, let's understand the concept of trigger an action once again with the example of this workflow. Let's say here we are going to take Elementor forms in our trigger and Zoho CRM in our action. And we want that as soon as a new form will be submitted in Elementor forms with the details, automatically the response of that form should be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using that response, automatically a new lead should be created in Zoho CRM. Okay, so here we can find that the action is the response towards our trigger. Now let's start creating this workflow step by step. First of all, we will select our trigger application and that is going to be Elementor Forms. So let's select it. And now we will select our trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. Okay. Now we are going to select new form submission as our trigger event as we want that as soon as a new form will be submitted in Elementor forms, the response of that form should be captured here and automatically the workflow should get start. Now as we have selected our trigger event, a webbook URL is provided to us along with some instructions and we have to follow these instructions in order to connect our Elementor forms with Pabli Connect. And that we are going to do with the help of this webbook URL. So first of all, let us copy this webbook URL and then I'm going to tell you exactly what we are supposed to do. So for this, I'm going to take you towards my WordPress site as Elementor is the plugin of WordPress. After coming here, we will find the option of Elementor and under that we have to select the option of getting started. As we will click on it, here we will find the option of create your first page. So when we will click on it, it is going to take us towards the edit page and here we can find multiple options. Now from these options, we are going to select for Form. So let's select form over here and a form is open in front of us. Now we can make the changes in this form according to our choice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change the fields in this form into first name, last name, email and the contact number. So first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this name field and I'm going to make the changes in this. So here, first of all, let us start with the first field. Here I want first name. So in the, so in the type, I will simply select text only. 
and in the label here I'm going to give first name so this field will be for the first name now in the same manner I'm going to make the changes in the second field also here I want the second field for last name so in the label I am simply going to type last name okay done the next is for email and at last in the place of message I want contact number so here I will cross this message field and I will add one more item and in that here in the type section I am going to select number as I want contact number and in the label field I am going to enter contact okay done so these are the fields which I want for my form in the same manner you can create your form here in Elementor according to your choice by adding the fields accordingly now after creating this form we are going to connect it with Pabli Connect and that we are going to do with the help of the webbook URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and for doing that we will simply move further and here when we will scroll down we will find the option of actions after submit. Let's select it and after selecting this option we will click on this plus sign and as soon as we will click on this plus sign we will find the option of webbooks over here. Let's select it and after selecting webbooks we will again find the option of webbooks here. Let's select it. And now in this field, we have to enter the webbook URL, which we have copied from Pabli Connect. So we will simply paste the webbook URL and done. Okay. Now by adding this webbook URL, we have just connected our form with Pabli Connect. So let's just preview the changes. And with this, we can find that our form is open in front of us. Let's go back on Pabli Connect and here it is showing waiting for webbook response. What does this mean? This means that now we have to do a test submission by filling up this form, which we have recently created so that the response of this form could be captured here in Pabli Connect. Okay, so without wasting any time, I'm simply going to submit this form by entering details in this. As I'm doing a test submission, I'm going to enter dummy details. Let's start with the first name. Let's say here the first name will be dummy and the last name will be let's say lead i am going to enter a random email here dummy lead 56 at the rate pablitudes.com just a random email and now at last a random contact number okay after entering all the details let's click on send and our form is submitted successfully let's go back on public connect and here we can find that as soon as we have submitted the form in elementor we have received the response of that form here in public connect with all the same details which we have entered okay form name form id user agent etc first name last name email and the contact number of the person along with the date now when we have received this response that means our integration between elementor and public connect is successful up till now so we will move further and by using this response now our next motive is to create a new lead in zoho crm and that we are going to do with the help of our action step and here in our action application we will select zoho crm after selecting the action application the next thing which we have to select is action event and here we will select the action event as insert or update record in order to create new contact delete task etc we have to select this option insert or update record okay click on connect and now from the given options i'm going to select add new connection to build a new connection with zoho crm account if you want you can also go with your existing connection as we have clicked on add new connection now we will simply click on connect with zoho crm and as we do that, it is asking us for the domain name. Now, from where we are going to find this domain name, for that we just have to go towards our Zoho CRM account and we have to look towards the URL. Okay, so from the top URL, we can find that zoho.com, this is our domain name. So I'm simply going to copy this and we will paste it here in Pabli Connect. In the same manner, you have to find your domain name from the URL of your Zoho CRM account and you have to paste it over here. Let's click on save and now Pabli Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Zoho CRM account as it is 100% safe. So let's click on accept. And with this, our authorization has become successful. So because I was already logged into my Zoho CRM account before making the connection with Pabli Connect, Pabli Connect has deducted my account and my authorization has become successful very easily. So you also have to keep in mind always to keep logging to your applications before making the connection with Pabli Connect. Okay. Now after building the connection successfully, we will move further. And here we have to enter the details in these fields in order to create a new lead in Zoho CRM. First of all, we will select the module name. As we want to create a new lead in Zoho CRM, so our module name here will be leads. 
After selecting the module name, the next important field is the layout and my layout is already selected as standard over here. Okay, now we'll move further. Some of the details are not mandatory over here. So I'm ignoring them for now. I will directly move towards the details which we have received from Elementor forms. First name, last name, email and the phone number. So one by one, we are going to enter the data in these fields and that we are going to do with the help of mapping. Now, what is mapping? Mapping is inserting the data from our previous step. We have received all the details of the person from our previous step that is from Elementor form response. So we will simply select our previous step like this and here are all the details. So whatever data we want to map, we will simply select that and it will be mapped automatically. We want to map the first name. First name is given over here. So we will select the first name and it will be mapped automatically. Now, why we are mapping the data instead of entering it manually? Because we want that as soon as a new form will be submitted in Elementor and the response of that form will be captured here in Babli Connect, then automatically in this field, the first name should get replaced with the new first name of a new person. But if we will enter this data manually, then it will become static and it is not going to change with each and every response. Therefore, in order to automate the entire process, we use map. And in the same manner, wherever in the workflow we want that data should remain same each time there we type it manually and that is called as static mapping. Now after mapping the first name we will map the last name also in the same manner. So this is our last name done. The next is email. So let's map the email also and at last the phone number or the mobile number. Okay so let's map the phone number. Okay, done. So after entering all the necessary details, I'm simply going to click on save and send test request as some of the details are not mandatory over here. If you want, you can definitely add them also. Now let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. Along with the response, we have also received this ID. Because we have received this ID, that means a new lead is created there in Zoho CRM account. Okay, so let's go and check on Zoho CRM account. And this is the lead section of Zoho CRM. So let's just refresh this page once. And we can find that yes, automatically a new lead is created over here with the same name dummy lead and the same email which we have entered. Okay, so because a lead is created over here, that means our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built an integration between Elementor and Soho CRM. So what we are going to do, we are going to test this workflow once again with a live example. So I'm simply going to fill another form in Elementor and as soon as I will submit that form, automatically a new lead will be created over here with the same details which we will enter in that form without any efforts. So let's go and check. So here I'm going to again click on preview changes and here a new form is open in front of us. So I'm going to enter the details in this form also to submit it. Let's start with the first name. Let's say the first name is demo. The last name is lead, a random email and at last a random contact number. Okay. Let's click on send and again our form is submitted. So let's go and check on Zoho CRM. We will refresh the page once. And yes, automatically a new lead is created over here once again with the name as demo lead and the same email. So because again, we have received the response over here, that means our workflow is working perfectly fine. So let's go back on Pabli Connect and we will simply summarize what we have done here in this workflow. We have taken two simple steps over here, trigger and action. In trigger, we have taken Elementor and in action, we have taken Zoho CRM. And we have connected both of them by using Pabli Connect in such a way that now whenever a new form will be submitted in Elementor, automatically the response of that form will be captured here in Pabli Connect. And by using that same response, automatically a new lead will be created in Zoho CRM. So in the same manner, by following the same steps, you can very easily create this automation in order to automatically add leads in Zoho CRM without any efforts whenever a new form will be submitted in Elementor. So this was it in this video. I hope this was helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pabli Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.